All right, Shalom. I want to first begin by giving all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham Chakwadash. And Yahweh is the true holy name of the Heavenly Father, who this world ignorantly calls God, Yahweh Shai being the true name of his only begotten Son, who this world ignorantly calls Jesus, and the Rechakwadash is the Holy Spirit. Also want to give double honors unto my apostles and elders of Great Millstone, who are the true leaders of the nation of Israel that Yahweh Bashem Shai has set up through the Holy Spirit to lead and to guide and also to be great examples for the nation of Israel. Also want to say Shalom to the 144,000 men who are laboring and also toiling in his work for the sake of Yahweh Bashem Shai. Also want to say Shalom to the innumerable multitude, the men, women, and children, who Yahweh Bashem El Shai will show his mercy upon in these last days. And I'm the brother Gabar from the GMS, West Palm Beach Camp. I'm coming back with another Lord's will, edifying lesson to feed the sheep of Yahweh Bashem El Shai unto the best of my ability. And this lesson, Lord's willing, is going to be entitled Plagues and Lockdowns, Times Are About to Change. You know, the things are about to change. You know, how we living in normal society, right? Where you people getting up and going to work. You know, you come home and watch Netflix and chill. You go to the grocery store, you, you party and drink over the weekend. All right, you know, that's pretty much, you know, what the average Americans do. But those things are about to come to a halt. All right, times are about to change. You know, it's going to be more more pestilence, more lockdowns. And this is what the media and social media is, you know, talking about. You already have schools um, shutting down. You have certain uh, jobs bringing back the mask mandates. Okay, mainstream media, you know, hinting at lockdowns, all right? And this is what the prophets, beginning with our apostles and elders of Great Millstone, all right, been uh, telling the people, you know? So let's get a few scriptures going into these um, end time prophecies. Let's go to... Um, First Thessalonians five. Let's start at one, and it reads, "But the, but of the times and seasons, brethren, ye have no need that I write unto you. For yourselves know perfectly that the day of the Lord so cometh as a thief in the night." Right, and that's how things. That's that, that's what's gonna happen unto the people who are not watching. They're going to be overtake, overtaken like a thief in the night. Because when a thief is coming in to rob you, a thief looks, you know, see if anybody home. He looks to catch you when you off guard. So a lot of people are about to get taken off guard because they're not measuring the times diligently. They're not watching the prophecies they're not paying attention to the news they're not keeping up with current events and articles and most importantly they're not taking heed unto, unto the men of the Lord that the Lord has set up through the spirit because the Lord is dealing with a certain group of men and we would believe through faith that those are the men here at Great Millstone this is Amos 3 and 7 Surely the Lord Yahweh power will do nothing, but he revealeth his secret unto his servants, the prophets. So the secrets of the end times, the secrets, the mysteries of, of, of the scriptures that has been revealed unto the Lord's elect. Because not everybody has the answers. You know, everybody in the world think they have the answers 
You got these TikTok prophets, so-called prophets. You got the Christian churches. You got the Muslims. You got the atheists. You got the Buddhists. You got the Pan-Africans. All right, everybody thinking that they got the truth. Well, the truth has only been revealed unto the prophets. And the prophets are going to come in a particular spirit. Let's get this. Revelation 19 and 20. And I fell at his feet to worship him. And he said unto me, see thou do it not. I am thy fellow servant and of, and of thy brethren that have the testimony of Yahweh Shai. Worship Yahweh for the testimony of Yahweh Shai is the spirit of prophecy. You see, and that's what separates the men from the boys, so to say. Because the true men who are coming in the spirit of Yahweh Shai are going to be going into prophecy. So that eliminates all these other different religions and, and denominations because they, they don't come in the spirit of prophecy. The Christians, they talk about peace and prosperity. Buddhists, you know, they coming in the spirit of loving everybody. All right? So the on only men who come in the spirit of prophecy is the men of Great Millstone and the brothers who te teach the like like minded doctrine. But everybody else not coming in the spirit of prophecy, even those who are who, who know that they're Israelites. The IUICs, the IS, the ISB, UPK, HOI, GOCC. All those camps know that they're Israelites, but who's going into the end time prophecy? The 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 chip, the RFID chip. Who's going into that? Revelation thirteen and sixteen. Who's breaking that down? Uh, truthfully, the men of Great Millstone. Who's telling you about World War Three? America being destroyed by way of nuclear missiles. So let's go back to 1 Thessalonians 5 and 2. Let's read that one more time. For yourselves know perfectly that the day of the Lord so cometh as a thief in the night. For when they shall say peace and safety. All right, and that's the rest of the, of the world. All right, Joe Biden just a couple months ago, you know, he uh, said there's no more pandemic. You know, people can remove their masks. You know, the C-19 is over. But look, a couple months later, the boogeyman came back. Now, people got to put their mask on. Schools are getting shut down. And eventually, you know, we're going to be back on lockdowns. Okay, prepare for a dark winter. You know, EMP, electromagnetic pulse. The gas prices are, are going up through the roof. Inflation. All right, the love of many is waxing cold. So things are not going back to quote unquote normal. Society is not going, society is not going to go back to normal. The dollar is not going, is not going to, it's not it's only going to continue to get worse. The dollar is going to continue to, to depreciate in its value. You know? As the Lord says, he has a problem, he has a controversy with the happiness of this land. The Lord, before he destroys this place by nuclear fire, the Lord is going to methodically tear this society down until it's physically destroyed by by way of nuclear missiles there's going to be pestilence it's going to be all hell breaking loose in the streets of america people are going to be breaking and looting looting into these businesses 
It ain't gonna be no food at these grocery stores. No lights. No running water. Ezekiel 7 and 25. Destruction cometh. And they that seek peace. And they that shall seek peace. There shall be none. Because peace is not coming. Peace is going to be in the kingdom of heaven. <laughs> you know. Peace will be in the kingdom of heaven. But right now. The Lord says he's coming. Let's get that. Matthew 10. And 34. Because who you eagerly call Jesus, he's not coming in the spirit of peace. This is Matthew 10 and 34. Think not that I am come to send peace on the earth. I came not to send peace, but a sword. Right? And what does a sword represent? A sword represents a ki that's a killing instrument. What people do when they got a sword in their hand? They looking to, to kill, man. And this is What's about to happen? It's going to be race wars. People are not going to be regarding their kings and, and prince. The course of their actions shall stand in their power. So people about to take matters into their own hands, especially when lockdowns start coming. When that uh, when that max is about to be uh, when that max, you know, when that jump shot. And ultimately, when that when that when that C hip is made mandatory, all right, we're about to see a lot of people uh, um, bow down and, and, and worship worship uh, uh, Esau, man. All right, so let's go back to First Thessalonians five and three. It says, "For when they shall say peace and safety, then sudden destruction cometh upon them, as travail upon a woman with child." And they shall not escape. You know, so just like a woman when she about to go into labor or she's about to have birth, you know, the woman doesn't the woman doesn't get she she's not when a woman's water break, you know, there is no uh warning, you know, it just happens on the sudden. All right, when you least expect it. You know, a woman can be out at dinner, you know, and her water break uh, on the sudden, you know, and that's how the day of the Lord is going to overtake these people, you know, just as when a woman about to have that child, all right, because, you know, the doctors, they give you an estimated day, an estimated uh, month and, and day that the baby's going to be born, but most of the time, that's not even accurate. A woman can uh, a child can be born before or after so a woman doesn't know when she's truly about to have the the the, the seed and that's how it's going to be when all hell break loose all right but that's why you got to be in the spirit of measuring the times all right scripture says in the last days you know be be circumspect looking around watching the news you know, because they, us, that's of the hopeful elect, we see the times that we living in. We know something is about to, about to go down. All right, whether it's a lockdown or whether it's the, the C-HIP being made mandatory, we, we in those times. All right, and it says, verse 4, But ye, brethren, are not in darkness, that that day shall overtake you as a thief. All right, why are we... Um, why that day not going to overtake us as a thief because we have the light which is the truth alright when scriptures also say when, when there's no vision the people perish okay you got to have that, that foresight alright the prophets was known as seers okay look what's going on with Russia and Ukraine the BRICS nations, you know. So, the times of of evil is is right around the corner. All right, verse five it says, "Ye are all the children of the light, and the children of the day. We are not of the night, nor of darkness. Therefore, let us not sleep as others do." Right, and that's not literal sleep; that's a spiritual sleep. 
So these Jakes out here, like a, like the beloved Pastor Gabar would say, they, these people, they dead from the neck up. You know? So they're in that spiritual state of sleep. They don't know who they are. They walking around in la-la land thinking that America is going to continue to be w what it is. No, oh, man. Uh, the, the Lord is about to judge this place. All right, it says the sins have reached up, reached up into the heavens. So you got to be sober, man. And sober, let's get that in the Greek. All right, because the scriptures was written in Hebrew and also in Greek. So let's go into that word sober here in the Greek. Let's get some edification on that. Strong's G, 2518, Kathudo, Kathudo. Okay, so it says, to yield to sloth and sin, to be indifferent to one's salvation. It says, to fall asleep, to lie down at rest. Ooh, to lie down at rest. What does uh, the, the prophet Micah say about rest let's get that this is micah 2 and 10 and it says arise ye and depart so we got to depart from this place spiritually we're not supposed to be in the spirit of these of these americans your average so-called negro hispanic and native american because what's they mindset what's they uh focus on getting money chasing a woman Bowing down into the woman, worshiping the woman, you know, getting money, right? That's that's the mindset of your average Negro, Hispanic, and Native American. Worrying about, you know, sports and love and hip hop and, you know, all the things that this society uh, puts their energy towards. You know, worrying about Cardi B and the Migos, right? All that, all that bullshit. Okay. The Joshua says we're supposed to meditate on the law day and night. Wisdom is supposed to be meeting us in every thought. All right. So it says arise ye and depart for this is not to rest. You see? So this is not our place where we supposed to be comfortable. We behind enemy's lines. All right. The, um, the book of Revelations 12 and 12, it says, therefore rejoice ye heavens and ye that dwell in them. Woe to the inhabitants of the earth and of the sea for the devil is come down unto you. All right. Who is the devil? Esau Edom, the so-called white man. All right. Beginning with the with the elites, the Rothschilds. All right. These uh, banking families, because those are your true enemies, because your average Edomite that you work with, that you see drinking at the bar, you know, that he, he, he lost in the sauce too. He don't know what the hell going on. Okay. So it says, for the devil has come down unto you having great wrath because he knoweth that he has, but it's short time. So we ain't supposed to be at rest. Knowing that, that these times are coming, that these times is here. Esau, Edom coming down with great wrath. Because he knows that he has but a short time. You know, persecution is about to arise. The the um, the um chip is about to be made mandatory. You know, brothers going to be getting persecuted, casted into prison. We're going to be pilgrims upon the earth. So we're not supposed to be at rest. We ain't supposed to be comfortable. Hey, we're going to be comfortable in the kingdom. Right now, we, we still going through the curses. One of the curses in Deuteronomy, it says we shall have no rest from the soles of our feet. So, hey, man, we 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 not supposed to be looking to be comfortable. All right. It says because it is polluted, it shall destroy you even with the sword of destruction. All right. So this this place is polluted spiritually and physically. You know, we walking on the blood of our ancestors. 
All right, and spiritually, this place is polluted by way of the philosophies that's being pushed here. LGBT, you know, the sodomite agenda, Christianity, you know, Roman Catholicism, Buddhists, Muslim, you know, Catholics, Egyptology, like all these is is doctrines of of pollution. All right, that's why you got to come to the pure, to the pure truth, man. All right, everything else in this society is defiled and corruptible, but this is pure, this truth. There's no flaws in, in the truth. Okay, this is James 1 and 21. Wherefore, lay apart all filthiness and superfluity of naughtiness. Right, so we're supposed to lay apart that. Cast that cast that shit away. All right, put on, put on the, the immortal clothing. All right, it says, and receive with meekness the engrafted word. Right, so you got to receive this word with meekness which goes to being humility humble all right because we ain't, we don't know shit we don't know shit everything we thought that we knew is really a lie the name of the lord okay you grew up calling on jesus or jehovah or god so you got to receive this word with meekness all right, we thought that we was black and Hispanic and Native American. You know, we thought that we was equal, equality. You know, you thought God loves everybody. All right, but the scripture says you got to be born again. Be a, be as a newborn babe and desire the sincere milk of the word. Okay, you got two eyes and you got two two eyes and two ears for a reason you listen and, and you watch okay just like just like a baby do a baby doesn't can't talk but a baby he listens he 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 watches with his eyes and that's how that baby you know obtain wisdom same way with us all right listen to the apostles and elders watch all right, and it says, which is able to save your soul. And this is this is what's going to save you, this truth, man. And ultimately, the mercy of Yahweh Shem al is mercy and his grace. It's what's going to save you. But he begins with this truth. All right, and, and, and returning back to the Lord with, with fear and trembling. All right, don't be waiting until the last moment, the last second. To begin right. We got to get right now with the Lord. Prepare ourselves spiritually. All right. So I just want to bring that lesson out through the spirit. I pray that this lesson was edifying unto the hopeful elect. I'm going to close out by giving all praise, honor, and glory unto my power. Yahweh, Bahashom, Yahweh Shai, Bahashom, Rakakwadash. Double honors unto my apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Peace and blessings unto the hopeful elect, 144,000 men. I also want to say shalom to the innumerable multitude, the men, women, and children, who Yahweh Hashem Al Shai will show his mercy upon in these last days. The Wadi Yahweh Hashem Al Shai for giving me the spirit of truth. The Wadi Yahweh Hashem Al Shai for giving me the Holy Spirit, the Rakhak Wadash, to make this lesson. Lord's willing. Until the next lesson, I'm going to say shalom and the Baba Ball, DTA. Kwame Ashala, Shalom.